Hello, creative family. It's that time of year again. It is time to make an Easter basket. So whether you're making an Easter basket for your children, your grandchildren, nieces, nephews, uh, whatever the case may be, this is it. It's it. It's time to make the beautiful baskets. And you know what? Miss Nancy paid a visit to Walmart as well as Hobby Lobby to get some supplies. So today she's gonna to be making an Easter basket for my little brother, my niece, and my baby nephew. And as you can see, Hobby Lobby and Walmart had some pretty adorable items that you guys can fill your Easter basket with. So some of the things I'll try to tell you all where we bought them, the little Spider-Man things, Walmart, um, the candy, a lot of it, at Walmart. Um, of course, that little suko over there and the little lamb and the little lammy chocolate, Walmart. And oh, there's actually even some items here from Marshall's. But you all, let's get started. I can't wait for you all to see it. But oh my goodness, look at that popcorn though. Honestly, looking at this display, looking at all of the things that Miss Nancy has out here on the table, kind of makes me wish I had an Easter basket for myself. But unfortunately, well, I may be her daughter, but I am way too old to get one of these. <laughs> but you know what's so cute, though, is that my niece and my little brother, they love sharing. So you don't even have to ask. You don't even have to ask. They will literally walk up to you and start shoving chocolate and cotton candy in your mouth. And it's really funny. And sometimes even when you don't want it, my niece is like, here, have some more. It's like, little girl, I'm done. Anyway, right here, Miss Nancy has a black bin from Walmart. These were $5.94. She purchased two of them. And now she is busting out her crafting crosses, which you all can find these in the crafting section of Hobby Lobby. So I love these because they are so adorable. So let's get started. Miss Nancy is going to sort through them. You can see how it comes with different colored crosses, uh, little miniature crosses right here on these little pads that she's holding in her hands. Um, and it comes with some black string as well as some diamonds that you can embellish your crosses with. But I think these are so cute because, well, they're just so cute. Anyway, she is going to go ahead and choose which cross she wants. And I love how she chose blue and yellow. Look at that. She's going to put the little yellow one in the, in the middle. And honestly, I really do like the way that looks. Nice choice, Miss Nancy. Oh, and look at that. She's going to use her string. Okay, it's looking nice. Okay, so... Miss Nancy said she wanted to go ahead and use, she wanted to put my little brother's name on his basket. And I thought, what a great idea. And well, only one problem though. We didn't have any letters on hand or so we thought. I remembered that in my room I had a scrapbooking book and well, inside of it they have letters. So I was able to get that for her and she was able to write my little brother's name, David, on the front. And you can see how she used the Hobby Lobby crosses on the outside to adorn the bin. Now she's filling the inside of this bin with some brown crafting paper that she has. Makes it fuller. And it also helps the things that you're putting inside of the bin not to just sink to the bottom. You want the kids to be able to see what they're getting. So trying to keep it eye level. So here we go. And she's filling it with some green confetti some blue paper or confetti, what, whatever you call it. And now, oh, here comes the candy, spreading it all around. I don't know about you, but that candy looks so good. And of course, the signature Peeps. I love Peeps. I really do. Look at that. Okay, now this cotton candy, as well as the other candy, is from Walmart but look at that it comes in a pack of five and I believe it was I don't even remember how much it was but it was a great price that is all I remember and that's why we purchased two of them so here we go look at that 
My little brother is going to love his basket. Oh, yes. So, by the way, this basket that we're doing. Oh, actually, you don't need me to tell you that. <laughs> it has his name on the front. <laughs> okay. But after this, stick around because we're going to show you how we're decorating my nieces and also my nephews. Actually, no, I believe my nephew's basket, we recorded it as a reel. So that will be on our reels. Yes, but at least you'll get to see uh, the end product of what my nephew's looks like. But honestly, it's so cute. Look at this. I mean, the edible grass. Now, you know, Miss Nancy and I had to try it. We had to try it. And honestly... It does taste like edible grass. I can't quite explain it. You'll just have to go to Walmart and purchase some for yourself and try it out. Okay, now this one, Celebration Confetti. You're killing me here, Mom. You're killing me because I want some. Oh, and look at that. Uh, toxic Waste is one of um, David's favorite candies. And uh, they made it into lip balm, like Toxic Waste lip balm. And... That one was from Hobby Lobby, I believe. But anyway, you all. <laughs> oh, yep. He's a huge fan of the baby bottle pops. And who isn't? They taste awesome. And look, he's got two. One for him and one for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness, you all. That is so funny. Now, this toy is from Walmart. Yes, Walmart, I believe. Yep. He's definitely going to be using that a lot as well. That's really funny. But overall, I'm loving the way this is looking. Okay, now she's coming in with more candy, more treats. I love the way she's positioning all of them. That way, the kids can see what they got. And, yep, you already know that David and... All of our family, all of us went to go see the new movie, Godzilla Kong, New Empire. And he loves the toys. He has all of them. The only one he needs is Shimo. Well, he needs the bigger versions. He has all the minifigures. Now he needs all the bigger versions. <laughs> Here we go. And now we're done with my little brother's Easter basket. Now let's move on to my niece. His is looking awesome. So right here, yet again, Miss Nancy is coming in with her black bin from Walmart. Now, she didn't want it to be black, okay? We, she wanted to go ahead and, you know, do what Miss Nancy does best. Make it look better than the original. So here we go. She bought some Waverly fabric from Walmart. You can find that in the fabric section next to all the sewing supplies and whatnot. And now she is just gluing it. Then, of course, she will cut and she will fold and glue on the bottom. All right. Now she is going to come in with this beautiful pink tool. And she went ahead and attached it to her bin. Now she's going to fill with some purple confetti, add her beautiful flower. Now that princess pillow is so cute. My niece is going to, she is going to love that. And look at the little lammy and the nail art. She is all about doing her nails. Anytime she sees me doing mine, she will ask me to do hers. And it's really funny. It is. And also my niece, fun fact, she loves popcorn, sweet popcorn. So here we go. And of course, she loves cotton candy as well. And she she likes wearing lip gloss, so we thought, you know what, why not get her some little girl lip balm? <laughs> Adding more candy. Oh, you gotta, you gotta add the peeps, y'all. You have to add the peeps. Coming in again with the marshmallow butterflies. The Jesus Loves Me coloring book, which is so adorable. I want to say that was either, I can't remember if that was at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. <laughs> either way, it's so cute. And she has returned with the crosses yet again. Purple and pink combination with a little yellow one in the middle and some diamonds to embellish it. 
All right, creative family, we have made it to the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed watching Miss Nancy put my little brother's and my niece's Easter basket together. If you want to see a little bit of how she put my nephew's basket or box together, um, well, that is on Reels and we will be posting that very soon. But look at this. It is so adorable. All of the things, little toys, and of course the snacks, which is the best part. Um, anyway, they all look so cute and I hope you all were inspired. So go out and create an awesome Easter basket for your children, grandchildren, nieces, and nephews. You get the idea. But like I said, I enjoyed sharing this with you all. I enjoyed creating baskets with you guys. And well, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Sunday when it comes. It's not, it's not here yet, but you know what I mean. Happy early Easter, happy early Resurrection Sunday, and I will see you all next time.